Hello and welcome to D News with the Ducks. Today is May the 6th, or as we say in Star Wars land, uh, Revenge of the Sith. My name is Lonnie G, and uh, I am joined by my co host today, Jeff and Carly. How are you guys Hi. doing today? Good morning. How are you, Lonnie? I'm doing well, thank you. And Jody B. Hello, Lonnie G. Hello. And finally, Kevin. Kevin, how are you, sir? Good. Hello there. How are y'all? Right, good deal. Guys, as we say, you give us 10 minutes and we will give you the news. So uh, who wants to start us off with some of the exciting news for the week? All right, I'll start us off. So over in Epcot, we have some news on the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. The opening's rapidly approaching. They've been doing testing. They are about ready. Uh, today, uh, actually May the 5th, they had some uh, rides for special groups, social influencers, media influencers, um, Is that us, guys? Were we are we qualified uh, as social influencers for this yet? No, I don't know. Not yet. One day. I you did an AP preview, so you maybe, know then, <laughs> maybe for maybe for Tron. Maybe soon, for Tron. soon. Yeah. <laughs> and travel agents. Uh, so when when open, it will likely use a virtual queue to secure a time to ride. I'm I'm guessing that's sort of like um, Rise, mm -hmm. the way that Rise worked when it first opened. A um, couple other things. On May 27th, uh, Kenobi, two, Kenobi, there are two episodes to start uh, the season off, and I'm super excited. They delayed it by two days, but uh, they're going to start it off with two, so we're rapidly approaching that. Bringing you, taking you back to the 90s, there's a Rescue Rangers movie coming out on May the 20th, which I'm hoping will be good. I'm, I'm excited to check it out. And then a few days after that, on May 26th in Anaheim is Star Wars Celebration. I wish I could go. I'm sure I'll be looking online trying to find some videos, but they have been adding guests every single day, and it looks amazing. I mean, it. Uh, Ian McGregor is going to be there. I mean, most of the Clone Wars cast. I mean, it's it's really a stacked cast. So excited to see how that goes, and I'm sure there will be lots of uh, surprise guests on that as well. So, what, what day is that, Kevin? May the 26th through the 29th. Right. So, While he's taking notes, <laughs> I'm making a quick note of that. If I can, uh... they still have they still have single day tickets available, um, but not the four day ticket, I guess. So, well, beggars can't be choosers. So. That's right. <laughs> you got to pick a day. <laughs> All right. How about, how about Jeff? All right. Um, Disney's not so scary. Halloween party is returning this fall, and from the looks of it, it is in back to its full capacity including the Boo to You Parade and Hallow Wishes, I thought I saw as well. So it's back to what it was a couple years ago. So we're really excited about that. Um, speaking of Halloween, um, the, the halfway to Halloween mark came out with some new merchandise and some new offerings that came out. Um, I think you can get some of that in the stores now as well. Mm -hmm. So check that out if you're down there. I don't think it's going to last long. No, but Gideon's has two new cakes with it. They look so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm hungry. We're <laughs> dieting and I'm hungry. <laughs> um, also, just don't get just don't get hangry. Right. Oh, oh, just, oh. Um, <laughs> Disney did also announce today they did some re-imaging of the new Epcot. Um, so go online, make sure you're checking out these pictures of everything that's happening with that. Um, the new Moana water feature things that are going, the journey of water. Um, they also showed pictures of how the entrance looked, the festival center, things like that. And it was really hard for me to envision what it was going to look like with all the construction walls, but the changes they've made and everything, I think it's going to look really awesome once it's all done. So I was really excited to see some of the new concept art and everything that comes through with that. So that's all I got. Jody, what do you guys got this year or this week? Well, I've got some exciting news. Uh, Magic Bands, the old... The older and now the new, the new Magic Bands <laughs> accidentally came out. Um, if you hadn't heard, there was an accident release of the brand new interactive Magic Bands. A few lucky people got them. Um, those new Magic Bands will be doing some pretty awesome things like interacting with the 50th statues and some other things that maybe we don't know about yet. But uh, they were not supposed to be released. They cannot be linked to your current Magic Band or to your current accounts. They don't really do anything right now, but you can buy, you could buy them for a very short period of time. So congratulations to those of you who picked some up. Um, but 
who knows what they'll end up doing in the long run. But new exciting things with Magic Bands coming up. And other exciting news happening. If you haven't heard, the 2022 DizCon, which used to be called the Diz Family Reunion, which all goes to the wonderful, fantastic Give Kids the World facility. That is um, Friday, September 30th and Saturday, October 1st. And anybody know what October 1st is? Who's Park Anniversary? That is the uh, birthday of Epcot. Uh, 40, Epcot, yeah. 40th anniversary. So not only are they going to have this huge event at Coronado Springs, but on October 1st, they're going to have an after party event exclusive at Ooh. Epcot. So again, all this is for Diz Kids, Give Kids World. If you're interested in DizCon, you should go to gktw.org. That's givekidstheworld.org. You can find all the information there, there for ticket and prices and information. So September 30th and October 1st. All right. All right. Who's next? Well, I'll jump in. Um, right now, currently, if you have um, the Disney Photo Pass system, they had new released. Um, images or offerings uh, to be taking place at Hollywood Studios, right, right in front of uh, the Tower of Terror, as well as at Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. So um, to get them, it's, it's go through the Haunted Mansion ride. You have to have your magic band. You have to have your phone. It has to be linked. But if you have all those things and the odds are in your favor, you will get a special uh, picture <laughs> in regards to that. Also, for our golfers, uh, starting May 9th, 2022, so, um, shoot, gosh, a couple of days, right? Disney will be closing the Magnolia Golf Course for a major update. There was no date for completion, uh, but they did hint that it'll be later this year, right? So th this, that's just one of the many golf courses. So hey, that's the one over on Floridian Way, right? So that's the they have a lot of construction on the roads through there, too. So I think that has yeah. something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ray, let's just knock it all out at one time. The roads, the... <laughs> The golf, let's do it all. Let's just do it all. And in some ex exciting news that I've been waiting for, I'm sure you guys have been as well, because uh, let's be honest, the Eternals. Mm. But mm -hmm. in Marvel news, uh, Doctor Strange opens actually tonight, right? So uh, who, who's excited to see it? Anybody have their tickets? Ooh, we do, yeah. I want to see. You know, it's funny. I look tonight. There is a, uh, a special showing tonight. It's like at 730. Uh, in IMAX, I think they may have had like three seats. So literally, it's it's packed, and those three seats were like way in the front. And I even look, you know, there's a 10:35 one, and even that one is half full. So uh, I think I think it'll do pretty well. Um, and apparently, this is the first of its kind in regards to, uh, you know, Sam Remy did do the Star the Spider-Man series. He did this one. Uh, there's is a PG-13, but they said there are some some images that can be disturbing. So watch your kids. If you bring them, it's not the the old fashioned previous Marvel movies where it was all you know nice. There's some blood, there's some some violence. So interesting. That makes me want to see it even more. That's all <laughs> I got. <laughs> Carly, what do you have? Oh, I've got some exciting stuff that kind of goes along with the Magic Band Plus. They are also starting to offer Hey Disney, which is your Amazon. Alexa devices, the Echo devices, are going to have new voices, 25 Disney character voices that you get to talk to you instead of listening to Alexa's obnoxious voice. Um, she and I have some beef, but um, they're also going to have it in your rooms at Disney World. So you're going to be able to learn information about your vacation. If you want to know when the next bus leaves for Epcot, you just ask your Disney magical companion, which is going to be a new character who will interact with you through Hey Disney. And also it's going to link up with your Magic Band Plus and offer some interactive options that way too. So that's going to be rolling out um, as part of the 50th anniversary. So later this year. And then more exciting news. You guys always know food is my favorite and I am hungry today. So Salt and Straw is open at Disney Springs and their menu is really interesting. They've got, you know, the usual, the chocolate chip cookie dough. They've got the cinnamon snickerdoodle, which I think sounds amazing. But then they have some more oddball choices. Strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper um, ice cream. You're all excited about that, Jody. And then this one, I was like, 
I don't know, the salty donut guava and cheese ice cream. Um, <laughs> so I'm super curious, anybody who's listening, and if you've been down there and tried this stuff, please let us know in the comments or come to our Facebook page and tell us about it because I don't know how I feel about these, but you know, I'm hungry enough. I'd probably try them now. I did hear their sampling process is pretty cool. So instead of getting the paper um, or, or wooden spoon, they have a metal spoon that they give you and then you put it in a receptacle and then they clean them. And then, so it's very clean and um, re reduce, reuse, recycle. So that, that I'm really excited about. So, so you can, you can sample all those crazy flavors to see if the guava cheese, something or another ice cream is going to, going to float mm. your boat or not. Lonnie, yeah. I know you love cheese. How are you feeling about that? You know, I think I'm going to go give it a try. I'll be there. My my, my trip is rapidly approaching. Uh, we're in single digit days now. So, um, hey. you know, usually when we arrive, I think we talked about it. It's my, when we go there. The first day, it's always a Disney Springs day. So I think I'm going to go try some flavor, especially since I won't feel guilty about the wooden spoons I got to throw. There you there. go. So there you go. go. Yeah. Should Facebook live while you try it. So we get like your your very first live reaction. reaction. I will do my best. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, thank you guys for sharing your news stories today. And thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in and, and listening. We hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to, to follow us on all the socials. We're on everything. Uh, we're on uh, at Instagram, at Facebook. Um, unfortunately, our my wife found out she, she closed down the OnlyFans duck page. Um, <laughs> It is what it is, guys. I tried. Right? So but feel free to, <laughs> to come on board and follow us. We would love to have you and, and get on Facebook and join the flock. So uh, thank you so much. So from Carly, Jeff, Kevin, and Jody, and myself, y'all have a good one. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.